crafty friends. This is Joy with Create It With Joy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's project is for Spellbinders using their card kit of the month for May, All the Little Things. These card kits are fantastic. They give you enough stuff to make way more than 10 cards, but I have made 10 cards today with this kit. So in this kit, um, you're going to get a little card that tells you everything that comes in the kit. Also, also shows you um, part of the die that comes in the kit um, and gives you some little uh, sample cards for you to have some ideas. Then next we've got 10 envelopes and 10 cards. Again, there is so much stuff left over when I'm done um, that you can make way more than that. Foam squares and double-sided tape. Some really fun sequence. I love this really kind of hot pink fuchsia pink. Here is the die that comes in there. There's also in this one some coordinating butterfly dies with the stamp set that comes in the kit. There's also a beautiful frame die and some flowers and some leaves. And you have that cute stamp set. Then you get this package full of like the pre-made die cuts and there are tons of them in there. These little puffy stickers, oh my gosh, I fell in love with them and I used so many of them um, for these cards today. And then some other beautiful dimensional stickers. Um, I ended up using that little kitty down there. And these butterfly stickers, oh my gosh, and they're dimensional as well. So stunning and so beautiful. A six by six paper pad and you get like two I think it's two of each um, paper in there but maybe it's three I, I don't remember for sure but you get multiples and then you get all this cardstock including a gold mirror cardstock in this kit so tons and tons of product in this kit so here is the first card. These are those die cuts, kind of the frame die cuts you get too. You get that outer one that I cut out of the mirror gold cardstock. And then that smaller one I cut out of the patterned paper and it has like the little holes in or around it. Um, and so I just layered those together and I layered that on some patterned paper from the kit. Now. I really try to stick to just the stuff in the kit. The only things that I really kind of go outside of the kit for would be like um, Nouveau Crystal Drops or Rangers Stickles or Liquid Pearls and embossing powders. I also will use a liquid glue and um, other foam tape if I don't, if I run out of the foam tape or if I don't want it as tall because those little foam squares are quite a bit taller than my regular foam tape. So other than that, I really, I don't do any other die cuts. I don't do any other cardstock. I just stick to what is in the kit. So everything you see here, except for the, the things that I just mentioned, are all from the kit. So this was a cute die cut word that says dreamer. And I'm going to put that down. And now I did trim that background um, patterned paper from that paper pad, slightly smaller than that A2 size card base. Again, everything in the kit. And here are those beautiful dimensional butterflies and they've got gold glitter on them. They are just stunning. So I'm going to add a few sequins onto this card. A little bit of liquid glue. This is where the liquid glue comes in. And I just was kind of laying them around and I only ended up using a few. But I really like how that, um, that card, the colors and everything, how that turned out. Something I do is before I make these cards, I lay, I lay everything out outside of the kit. I open it up and kind of put together what I, how I want to make a card. Isn't that really pretty? You guys aren't those butterflies gorgeous. Um, and I, I do all my cards kind of a layout and then I put them together. So it's when it comes time to glue them together, it's really super fast. I even trim all the paper and everything. So onto this next card, this beautiful patterned paper background is kind of a wood grain. And I'm using the sentiment die cut that says dreamer. And then these got these, they have these beautiful floral die cuts and I'm using the foam squares from the kit. And I'm gonna pop this up with some dimension. I love that they give you um, the tape and everything. And I would normally use their um, 
double-sided tape other than I'm just impatient and so that's why I use a tape runner but that tape actually absolutely works wonderful and I just save it all I, I have it in my drawer and I use it on lots of projects when I need extra um, hold on a card I use that so I trimmed off the excess off of there and now I'm going to add some of these little paper butterflies these are not the stickers these are very one-dimensional and um, these are the pre-made die cuts adding some foam tape behind that little purple one and then this little guy he's going to be standing on the letters and then I'm going to come in with these little puffy stickers now when I was a kid so I'm in my 40s and so I was definitely an 80s kid and I don't know if it was an only an 80s thing but man sticker books were the thing and these little puffy stickers would have absolutely made it into my sticker book um they're not shiny they're kind of a matte color they are so fun and I love how tiny they are so I used tons of these so I'm putting a couple little butterflies onto the um flowers I ended up using three actually three little butterflies and then there's a little um, sentiment strip that says, this is us that I will be putting onto this card. I couldn't decide where I wanted these butterflies. <laughs> I ended up moving that one at the bottom. And I'm just using my little tweezers and just kind of figuring out where I want things to go. You know, these few little details, obviously I did not have planned out, but the main parts of the card, I definitely have planned out. So this is that little sentiment strip that says, this is us. And I popped that up on some foam tape and that card is done. That's our second card. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, guys, a third card. Now this one I am taking, these are all the um, colored cardstock from the kit. I am prepping it with some, I did prep the paper with anti-static tool and used some um, clear embossing ink and I am stamping the butterflies from the stamp set that comes in the kit and then I'm going to be using gold embossing powder and gold embossing all of these butterflies again these have coordinating dies um, in the die set which usually that's not the case so that's kind of fun that it has it and there are different size butterflies um, so I'm going to heat that through on each one of these colors I love to watch embossing powder melt. I debated between gold embossing powder or white embossing powder, and I went with the gold, but the white would have been just as lovely. So now here are the dies that come in that set. There's also a word that says lovely, but here are the butterflies. And you saw the bigger dies on that very first card. And so I'm just going to run these through my die cut machine. I use the Platinum 6 die cut machine from Spellbinders. And from the stamp set, there is a sentiment that says, oh, happy day. And I really like how delicate um, the font is in this stamp set. And I'm stamping that on a strip of one of the green pieces of cardstock in the kit. And I am using white embossing powder on that. And I'm going to heat that through. And I have a piece of patterned paper that I trimmed down about a quarter of an inch smaller than my A2 size card base. And I do that kind of on most of my cards um, because I do like that little white frame around there. I feel like it finishes it off. So I'm going to adhere that to my patterned paper and I will trim off the excess. Just adhere that kind of towards the bottom. I actually was inspired by one of those pictures on that card with this little um, kitty that we're gonna use, this little kitty sticker I was inspired. Um, by that card. So I'm going to center that in my card base. And here is that cute little kitty. I'm not a kitty person. I'm more of a dog person, but I do think little kitties are pretty cute. And then I'm going to add some of these die cut butterflies. I actually planned on using a ton of them, but once I was kind of laying it out, I thought I just felt like it looked too busy. So I actually only ended up using four, but that little um, kitty has a butterfly. So it makes it five because if you've watched any of my videos, I talk about odd numbers all the time. It is just way more pleasing to the eye. So two of those butterflies, I'm going to glue directly onto the paper and the other two I will pop up with this foam tape. Something you will also see me do with the foam tape is to trim off, not just use the foam squares, use the whole thing and then you don't have any waste. And isn't that card really cute? That is our third card. We are on a roll. 
Okay, next card. This is gold, the gold mirror cardstock, and I it's the same size as the A2 size card base. And you can see that I had that die cut cut out of the center. I do that on purpose so that way I'm not using a full sheet of this, you know, specialty cardstock behind um, my paper. I try to use what I can out of the center, if that makes sense. Then I'm lining it up with a piece of white strip cardstock and some patterned paper, lining that up at the bottom. And I'm gluing this cute little letter to this typewriter that says, Hello Lovely. And again, these are all these pre-made die cuts that come in that package. There are so many of them. Here I am trimming that foam tape so I can get long strips and just using up all of my product. And I'm going to pop this up. I really liked this card. I think um, this would be definitely one for my daughter because she um, is a writer and she's so talented. So I think this would definitely fit for her. So when I saw the little ink and the books and everything, I thought it was perfect. This little letter. So I'm just kind of laying things out. So I'm going to glue that envelope directly to the paper. Then I'm going to take this next book and I'm going to use my regular foam tape because like I said earlier, it is not as tall as these foam squares. And I wanted this to mention to be in steps. So then I will use the foam squares on this next book. And I have three different heights, essentially. And I'm going to tuck that in under the typewriter. It looks like it's on this really cute desk. We've got this darling pencil. I'm going to glue that down, add a little bit of um, foam square underneath it. And you've got this really cute scene. Then I will be taking um, some those little stickers, those little foam tiny stickers. They've got some cute hearts. So I'm going to add those in and around this typewriter. And isn't that darling? It's not a fun gift to give to someone who likes to write. Okay, four cards down, you guys. We're on a roll. Next card. This one kind of feels like a scrapbook page to me, which I cannot stand scrapbooking. Isn't that hilarious? I, I think they're beautiful and fun, but whenever I do it, I struggle. Um, I originally started in scrapbooking and then went to cards because I was like, it's a smaller canvas. I like it much better. <laughs> So anyways, again, this feels like totally 80s to me with the skates and the cassette player. Um, so I just kind of laid this out like a scrapbook page in a way. Um, and I think it really turned out cute and fun. And I used some of those 3D stickers. Um, the little pennant, pendant flag say yay and wild thing. And a little sticker says free spirit. And the sentiment says always on the lookout for a good time. So really a lot of fun. I like this card. I think it just feels kind of free spirited, obviously with the way that um, sentiment is, but I was such a roller skating kid. Oh my gosh. And I grew up in Las Vegas and oh my, we just had the best um, skating rink and uh, every weekend, all the time, Saturday, all day skate. Me and my little best friends would just skate till we couldn't skate anymore. So I love this pattern paper. This striped pattern paper in the back was really super cute. I matted that on some blue cardstock and then matted that to the white card base. And so you kind of have two frames going on here. And that card's done. Super cute. Okay, next card. That was our fifth card, you guys. We're, we're on a roll here. So this one had these cute little strawberries, and I loved that. And it had this little, like, um, flag type sentiment that says love you more and I really wanted a lot of white space on this card so I trimmed down a piece of white cardstock that came in the kit um, really small and I'm sorry I don't even know the measurements but really tiny then I matted that on kind of that darker pink cardstock and then matted that again on a piece of uh, patterned paper and it was the same pattern paper that we did for that little kitty card um, and then I have a big white frame around when I glue this to the white card base. And I like, I just love how that look, how the, how it turned out. So you'll see here in just a second. So I added some of those little stickers, a little strawberry sticker and a couple of those heart stickers. And just this card is super simple, but I think is really very pretty. Okay. So this next card 
I really love how this card turned out actually. So I trimmed down a piece of white cardstock to pretty small. I'm going to mat that on some green cardstock. And then we've got that patterned paper um, that is a slightly smaller than an A2 size card base. These cute clouds, again, the pre-made die cuts, I'm adhering that to the rainbow. This cloud I will pop up on regular foam tape. I didn't want it super dimensional. And then it has this really cute kite. There's, and again, all these die cuts, there's two of each. So there's two kites, two rainbows, two of each of these um, clouds. So you get tons of, um, of these little die cut pieces. So you could make two of each of these cards, really, for the most part, you could totally make that. So adding some foam tape behind this kite, and we're gonna add that in the middle. I don't know, I just think this card turned out really super cute. And then the sentiment says best day ever. And I love how tiny the sentiment is. I am so digging tiny sentiments. I use like Simon says stamp tiny word sentiments all the time because I just think there's something about them that just is awesome. But you see how that's matted um, right in the center of that patterned paper that looks like you're up in the sky looking down on all this ground. So that one's done. Okay, again, this is gonna be another card with a lot of white space. I die cut using that die cut frame that we did on the first card, um, but I did it out of patterned paper. I did not die cut a centerpiece, just the larger die cut that you can see kind of there at the top um, left of my screen. I matted that, or I glued that to white cardstock, which is smaller, about a half an inch around than the A2 size card base, and I glued it to that so it's white on white. And then I'm taking this cute basket that's got bread and flowers and that's going to be the centerpiece and then I'm going to tuck in some a bouquet of flowers um, this bread loaf on the front those little foam stickers had a little letter and I'm tucking that in so it just looks like this is a gift that you would give somebody and then it's got these little um, these little sentiment pennant strip things that says enjoy today and I'm going to add that to the top and the bottom just using my tweezers so my fingers do not get in the way. And there was some dimension behind the bread and the basket. And you have this really cute card. Okay, so now this next one. This kind of looked like sky to me, this background paper. So I took the another rainbow. Um, I was really into these rainbows. And I'm going to adhere that down and I'm going to be using some trees and some clouds, some butterfly stickers, um, and a little sign that says happy girls shine brighter and just kind of make this little scene. It almost made me feel like, like the girl, like Girl Scouts or something like that, but really is super cute. So the patterned paper is trimmed down smaller than the card base. I will trim off any excess that is hanging over, which is really just um, one of these trees. And I will trim up one of these clouds. And then we're gonna have some little butterflies. So putting some foam tape, I'm not using, I'm just using my regular foam tape because again, I want this to be a slight dimension, not a ton of dimension. Otherwise I would use the, um, the foam squares that came in the kit. And I did that behind some of those trees. The two trees in the front have some dimension. And I will adhere that down. My foam tape was a little too long and getting in the way. And now that that is glued down, I'm gonna get this cute uh, cloud over here. And I will just trim that up um, and get that tucked behind the tree. It was a miracle that I actually cut a straight line. I can't even believe that it happened because I am the worst at cutting straight lines, but it worked in my favor. So yay for me. And I will adhere down this cloud and then that little cloud. We will have some foam tape behind for dimension. And then we're gonna use two butterflies. Two of those little sticker puffy butterflies. And if I still had my sticker books, I would put the rest of these stickers in it. I got my kids' sticker books forever ago, and my daughter still puts stickers in hers, so I think I'll have to give these to her. I actually 
love how that card turned out. Okay, last card. This is actually my favorite card out of all of the cards. It turned out so beautiful. So I've got this piece of patterned paper that is A2 sized. Then I've got my white card base that's probably a half an inch smaller. And then I matted it with a very thin mat of that mirror gold cardstock. Then we've got these beautiful sticker butterflies. And I am just going to start with the bigger ones and kind of work my way diagonal from the bottom left to the top right of the card. And I just think these colors and these butterflies are just stunning. And I'm going to adhere that down. I will trim off any excess that is hanging over, which guys that used to give me a heart attack, I'm like, no, but now it's fine and it works out and it looks beautiful. So normally I do odds, but this is actually even, but when you have the sentiment in there, it kind of makes it an odd if that is, if that makes sense. So this little sticker sentiment says, I love us. And I think that is so super cute. So I'm going to adhere that down and I'm going to add some uh, gold stickles by Ranger. You definitely don't have to if you don't have them. This card is beautiful without it. But I felt like I needed a little bit, a little bit of embellishment. So I'm going to add a few dots starting at that bottom left. A little bit heavier down there and then getting a little bit lighter up towards those smaller butterflies. And then obviously just let this dry before you put this in an envelope just overnight. And then this card is done and it's absolutely gorgeous. My favorite card out of this whole kit. What do you guys think? Isn't that so pretty? Thank you guys so very much for stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed these cards and this project. I hope that it inspires you to create. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to my channel. Share with your crafty friends. Thumbs up. Comment. I love the communication with you guys. I do have some affiliate links below. It costs you nothing, but it does help me. So thank you for using them, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.